what is up guys welcome back to my channel this here is Leslie Jones Tarot guys this reading here is for my Gemini zodiac sign all right so uh, yeah before I dive in this is a general reading so this may not resonate with you if it does everything may not be for you in this reading could be messages for someone else and energies are fluid and interchangeable so they uh, if they do cross just flip them guys all right, so let's get your overall energy for a Gemini. Clarify the overall energy for a Gemini zodiac sign, please. We're going to start off with the spell casting deck. Clarify the overall energy for a Gemini. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I love this card. This is the beauty card, okay? Beauty, going within, knowing your value, knowing your beauty, knowing your worth. Clarify the Gemini energy. We also have the travel card, so you could be traveling a distance, okay? bottom of the deck is the home card all right let's go ahead and clarify this energy here see what's going on with you gemini clarify gemini's energy please what's going on with gemini king of pentacles clarify gemini's energy what's going on with gemini thank you ten of cups clarify gemini's energy please what's going on with gemini we have the Knight of Swords. Clarify Gemini's energy, please. What's going on with Gemini? Thank you. And the Page of Cups. Okay, so off the top, what I'm seeing is some type of stability, financial stability, or some type of um, stable relationship coming in your life. We have the Ten of Cups, which represents fulfillment, happiness, happy home, happy life. We also have the Knight of Swords. So this is uh, someone coming with something to get something off of their chest, very forcefully, very quickly, rushing in, okay? Uh, and then the Page of Cups, love offering coming in, a message of love coming towards you, all right? Or going out, maybe you're sending it out. Clarify the King of Pentacles here for Gemini. Clarify the King of Pentacles, thank you. It is clarified with the Emperor and the Chariot. So you definitely could be going through a uh, financial situation here, really uh, grounding yourself, getting yourself on your feet with the Emperor, stay, uh, stability, control. This is like the management type of person, uh, someone that's very um, driven as well, okay? Has a lot of ego, but ego in a good way in this situation here. And the chariot is overcoming triumph over hard times, dealing with a lot and getting through it here. So I feel like you're finally getting to the point where you have like a stable job, stable money, stable income coming in here. See, three of wands, progress, progression, success, okay? Clarify the ten of cups, please. Thank you, clarify the ten of cups. I feel like it's been a long time. It's, it's taken a while to get here. Yeah, it's taken a while to get here, but you've been committed here to this situation with this Ten of Cups, okay? You've been committed. You could be in a marriage. You could be married to someone or in a committed relationship here, okay? But with the Ten of Cups here, I feel like it, it's been a long, it's, it's taken some time to get here to this point, all right? With this Knight of Pentacles. Because the Knight of Pentacles is like the slowest knight out of the bunch. But you've been committed. You've been sticking to it. You've been making it happen. So if you're a single parent, you've been making it happen. You've you found the stability in your life. Or if this is like a, um, a relationship situation, um, it's taken, you've taken your time to get to this point, but you're now ready to settle down in this stable energy here uh, to be married, to be committed, right? That's the type of energy that I'm getting. See, the hanging men and the lovers, okay? So it's like looking at it like, okay, now I'm ready to move to the next step. Now I'm ready to get married. Now I'm ready to settle down. So clarify the Knight of Swords. Or this could be you two moving in together as well. Clarify the Knight of Swords. So it's clarified with the strength and the page of wands. So courage, confidence, um, Knight of Swords, and then the page of wands. So this could be someone coming in or rushing in with some type of financial opportunity. Okay, let's see, the temperance, something you've been waiting on, you've been very patient with, the divine timing is bringing it in for you. Maybe a business opportunity that somebody's wanting to work with you on here to create something with you. Let's see, clarify the page of cups here. Clarify the page of cups for Gemini. Clarify the page of cups for Gemini. Clarify the page of cups. Thank you. Justice, clarify... Oh, yes, yeah. somebody, uh, either you or somebody else is wanting to make this decision to move forward, okay? 
So this could be a decision of getting married, right? Actually signing that contract, that legal contract of getting married. Okay, making that decision to be lovers, okay? Making the statement, putting down the foundation here. We have the uh, three of wands, ooh, and the two of cups. And the star card. So yeah, this is progress, watching the ships ride in, two of cups, soulmate, uh, love, uh, soulmate twin flame connection. And then the star card, dreams coming true, optimism, positivity, you know. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, let's see. Um, let's do the psychic tarot for the heart card, see what we come up with. So there's definitely an energy of knowing your, knowing your worth, knowing your beauty, knowing your, your very, this beauty card here, you look at yourself, your confidence is on point, right? The beauty in you is glowing. Okay, it's, I mean, it's just glowing. You're glowing with such beauty here. And then the travel card, things are happening for you. Things are progressing forward. Things are moving forward here for you. You could actually be pregnant. I'm getting a pregnancy type of energy as well. So you could be glowing up here uh, with your pregnancy. All right, if you're starting a family, you could be going up uh, really shining within this pregnancy year. Let's see. Any other messages or clarity here for Gemini? If you're, if you're, if you're um, the male, you're, you know, you have a baby on the way, okay? Ooh, thank you. Any other messages here for Gemini? Thank you. So it is clarified with the release card and the C card, number 13, number 9. So this is you releasing that heaviness off of your chest, okay? Finding that inner peace, uh, being, uh, being in tune with yourself, you know, realizing how, um, how at peace you are, okay? Being balanced, having your chakras aligned as well. Going within. And then we have the feeling alone and take the lead here. So this, you could have been working, I'm getting the energy of working by yourself and you really taking the lead. Or maybe you were at a job that you didn't enjoy or a situation you didn't enjoy and you're taking the lead and taking control of your life and really going after something that you want to create, okay? Um, so let's get a couple of Soul Journey cards. All right. Any messages here for Gemini? Any messages here for Gemini? Let's see. What's this? We have, oh, look at there, abundance. I am a limitless being, and I can manifest whatever I desire in the physical reality. Look at there. Abundance. Again, this could be an abundance as far as a child giving birth, okay, pregnancy, a job, new opportunity. Look at there. We have health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. I'm really starting to feel like this is a pregnancy. <laughs> we have courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Look at there. That's two courage cards because you have the strength card as well. Thank you, Spirit. Empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Okay, and the bottom is acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. All right, so let's end you off here with a couple of angel answers for you before I let you go. Okay, before I let you go. That's the song that just popped up in my head. <laughs> Can I get a kiss goodnight? That's all. Any last messages here for my Gemini? Any last messages here? Yes. We have meditation brings answers. Again, this is that seat card here, being within um, your inner peace. Okay, being happy. So we have uh, meditation brings answers. We also have the yes card. All right, so you're saying yes to something or situation here. Or you're excited about a situation here. We have no. If this person is coming in ready to propose to you, you're definitely saying yes. All right, and we have to ask your angels, okay? Make sure you're asking your angels for guidance. They have to continue to guide you. Look at here, and whatever's happening is in perfect timing, all right? This is divine timing. Divine timing is at work in your life right now for you, Gemini. So I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you did, make sure you smash the like button down below. If you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. I would definitely love to have you here. And guys, I thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.